Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 78 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, one of the big exciting elements of Episode 9 is how it's going to hold a lot of connections to the prequels and the originals and even Star Wars Legends, where that's going to be used as inspirational source material to really tell a very unique and original story for the fans around the world and what fans are expecting to see in this particular film. Now, J.J. is actually setting out to make this the darkest Star Wars film out of the entire Skywalker saga, which really does speak volumes for sure as well. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the big plans by George Lucas, J.J., Disney, and Lucasfilm, this is where things begin to get very intriguing for Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, specifically, it's described that during the rewrites of the film, during the months of November and December of 2018, just late last year, is when George Lucas was significantly involved with the adjustments to the second and third acts of the film, where it's explained that George proposed the idea to J.J. Abrams about the use of Obi-Wan Kenobi for a vital scene on the character development of Rey. It's described that one of the sequences is to involve Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi's Force Ghost voice, and Force Ghost, where Ewan is described to be modeled after how Sir Alec Guinness appeared in Star Wars A New Hope, that part of the role was to act more like Alec, as opposed to his own version of Obi-Wan Kenobi from the prequels. Now, it's explained that the scene entails a moment in which Ewan McGregor as Kenobi explains to Rey a partial truth about her bloodline and about her parents, and that he also reveals to her that she is a virgence in the Force, which is said to be a concentration of the Force due to the bloodline that she is connected to. It's described that the sequence also involves a moment in which Ewan as Kenobi is said to revert back to his younger self as he backs away from Rey, delivering dialogue about the origins of the galaxy and the Jedi Order just before he vanishes and that this scene connects to the Kenobi dialogue heard in The Force Awakens of him saying, Rey, these are your first steps. The sequence is described to be very emotional for the audience and that John Williams composed a special score for the scene that is said to fit the theme of the visuals. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the great thing about Episode 9, like I always say, is that it's going to hold a lot of themes to, of course, the prequel trilogy and, of course, the original trilogy eras. And that's the great thing about this movie. You know, a lot of the cast and crew said that this movie really is the culmination of the Skywalker saga, and every little piece from the past eight Star Wars movies will be a part of Episode 9. Even Kelly Marie Tran said this over at D23 and over at Star Wars Celebration that there's pretty much a little bit of everything that we have seen in the Rise of Skywalker from the previous movies, so that's good to know. But the one thing that I want to go over here is, of course, how they're modeling Ewan McGregor's version and or take on Obi-Wan Kenobi, at least the older version, based on Sir Alec Guinness, making him appear more so like Alec Guinness. And that's going to be very interesting to see, because that means they're going to change his hair, they're going to change his beard, change the color of his beard, maybe, maybe even change the way he speaks, his speech patterns, <clears throat> stuff like that, right? So you can really see what they're trying to do. They are trying to essentially, I believe, in my opinion, somewhat prep for what we are about to see in, of course, the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series on Disney+. Plus. In case you guys are out of the loop, the Kenobi TV series is a go and is going to begin filming in early 2020. So with that being said, there's also said to be a sequence in which this particular moment involves Kenobi portrayed by Ewan, delivering new partial truths about her bloodline and about her parents and the origins of the galaxy and the Jedi Order, where he even reverts to his younger self at the very end of the scene before vanishing into thin air. So this is said to connect to the very moment in The Force Awakens in which we do hear Kenobi speaking to Rey, Rey, these are your first steps. That's a big deal because this must be the scene that we actually only got to hear in The Force Awakens that at the time was really a point in time in the future for Rey that she was actually hearing. 
So, like I say, we do know that the rise of Skywalker is going to have a lot of twists and turns in this movie. Reshoots are still happening as we speak, in case you guys did not know. Reshoots are still happening throughout the month of October. They're aiming to complete this movie fully uh, at the very minimum of mid-October. This way they can get the entire cut of the movie done by mid-November, just in time for the release on December 19th. So you can really see that we are close. I will say that we are very close to the release. I mean, we are now only two months and change. Once it hits October 19th, it's two months flat until the release of The Rise of Skywalker. So we really don't have a lot, of, you know, a lot more time to go. They really have to get these reshoots done, and they really have to get the final cut of the movie together, you know, in one piece very much quickly in order to really do accurate TV spots for November and stuff around those lines. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.